type of thing because I feel like that's gonna get kind of boring and then it's gonna get redundant because how many questions could y'all have for me so I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna do questions anymore but we're not gonna do it every week so on my Instagram story and my spam account on Instagram I told you guys to email me uh, this email some confessions that y'all want me to react to while drunk during the video I'm gonna get to some of those today can't do everyone so if I don't get to yours and you really 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 want me to see it just resend it and as the title of the email like make sure it's something that's gonna captivate me like get my attention and then if I see it enough times I'm like wait hold on how am I gag at this I'll put it in the video so yeah today I'm about to make the drinks I got a glass cup and a red cup because listen at this point I didn't want to use a red cup at first cause I was like that's ghetto and that's hood but then it's like Y'all know who you're talking, you know who you're dealing with now. You can see if you got some glass cups, so I ain't gotta feel embarrassed about it. So we're gonna start with our vodka. We're gonna oh, someone gave me a recipe for another margarita. I'm gonna have to try that, but I ain't do it today. I think the like change it up though, instead of doing fruit punch, I do strawberry lemonade. Nah, because what if it tastes like booty? Today has already been an irritating day and it's only five o'clock. Okay, well that's that's actually like halfway through the day, so I guess that's a good time to be irritated. But is there really ever a time to be irritated? I had a haircut appointment because I didn't feel like cutting my own hair today. And the person who was supposed to cut my hair today flaked with his bitch ass, so I couldn't even do nothing. Like, and I asked, I'm like, um, are you still coming? Mind you, so I texted him and I'm like, uh, are you on your way? Because it had been like 10 minutes since our appointment was supposed to be. My appointment was at one. I'm like, are you on your way? Why this nigga just gonna reply back like that? Okay, so now if I bring it to the internet, I'm gonna be wrong and messy though. Oh, okay. Now, I would never even do that. I'm never gonna post my internet because it's not even that serious. I just feel like because we were supposed to cut my hair a few weeks ago and apparently his car broke down. And my thing is, if my clunker broke down, I'd be taking every client that I could. No, sorry. Not everyone's a go-getter like me though, so I'm not surprised, but it's just irritating. I really do hate let me zip this up because I just hate when my shirts start looking like you next. I just really do hate an unprofessional person. Like that is so, it, it's just like you don't, you want this money or no? Like you want to be broke? Like your car don't got no hubcaps on it, bruh. Tires, bald head and shit. So I don't know, maybe I, like I said, some people just not go-getters for real. And my thing is why make the appointment if you wasn't going to come? Like this tell a bitch you're not coming. When his car had broke down the first time I tried, or the second time I tried to get my hair cut, um, oh. Y'all heard that? Yeah, y'all heard that cash app. It was a refund. Ooh. It would, listen, listen, y'all know how I get my money. Listen, I'm gonna go ahead and put that phone on uh, on sleep mode because he said something smart to me during this video. I might cuss his ass out. Let's go ahead and take our first sip. If you don't got no drink on you, you smoking? Let's take our first puff. Mm -hmm. I didn't put too much liquor, but I put just enough. Let me make my second one and tell you some of the other problems I've been having. We are about to address some things. I'm about to get into some things in this video. I'm happy that you guys enjoyed these videos because I'm like, listen, I would have put that video up and it would have flopped. But so y'all only want to hear story time and shit. Like, why I gotta tell a story time? I almost even make the margaritas with ice today because why my ice machine just like it just pours the ice down in this tray and the ice be sticking together like one big ass Lego. I almost just didn't do it. I really didn't even have the patience today. But I realized that if I pour like hot water on the ice, it'll break up a little bit. And there was some ice in the back that was separate so so yeah it's good because this shit would have been lukewarm <laughs> i would have still drank it okay because the cup's a little smaller i can't put as much juice and i put hella alcohol so that second one might be the one what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drink the first one get drunk first i want to i want to make sure i'm extra drunk before i drink because the last time like i feel like i didn't really get like i was already like drunk before but i was drunk drunk towards the end and at that point it's having no fun because i was just doing the intro i want to make sure i'm feeling it like i'm trying to feel like i just took a perky and a xanax so i'm about to drink this let it marinate come back give y'all the gaga and we start keying together that's what it's gonna be like so for y'all it's gonna be like two seconds i'll be back in like 30 minutes Cute. Okay, what's up, 
y'all. So I'm back and I got my laptop right here. I'm going to be reacting to the emails with y'all. And we about to just get into it. And then after this, I'm going to tell y'all some guy guy. I'm going to need y'all advice because, bitch, I need to know how I even navigate that bullshit. Let's take another sip. I'm already done with my first one. We're going to go ahead and get to the second one. I'm not going to lie. I had to take a break because that first one had... <laughs> Had a bitch feel like she was in heat. I was like, wait, I cannot be getting on camera like this. Like around to make a different type of, I'm sorry, that was inappropate. I'm not gonna finish what I was about to say. Okay, so as I'm looking at, let's see. Um, jail boyfriend. This chip tooth bitch catfish me. Do you think I'm wrong? Anonymous note. Oh my God, what you I'm scared, okay, wait. My best friend girl I was talking to. Okay. Y'all mind you, when you send me these, I'm gonna be drunk. I have to get drunk and these words start looking like Mandarin. So it starts off and says, hey, Keith, I love you. I love you too. I know you have a history of befriending weirdos and that's not... <laughs> Wait, bitch, you trying to be shady or what? What was that supposed to mean? And then not realizing they're weird to... <sighs> and then not realizing they were weird to... Un... I told y'all, I knew this was going to happen. Wait, is there a way I could just have somebody read this to me? Because <laughs> I don't think I would have... I really don't think I'm about to um, be able... Oh. I was friend with a girl. We will call her Q-Tip. Q-Tip and I had been friends for a while and we both had a lot of failed talking stage while we were friends. About mid-April I was informed in a cafeteria with a mutual friend of ours, we will call her A, that Q-Tip had a crush on me. I mm. went up to Q-Tip and kissed her and we established that we were going to attempt a talking stage. Okay. Fast forwards to about two weeks later, me and Q-Tip were dry while we were talking but talking nonetheless. Me, Q-Tip and a couple of other friends slept over at A's house. One of the people there was my best friend. We will call her yeast infection. Mm -mm. Yeast infection fingers ah! on my couch under the cover while I was sitting next to them and we were all watching a movie in A's couch. I knew I smelled something weird, but I thought it was just the dogs, the fact that I was feeling already sick and nauseous, so it was maybe the fact that everything smelled weird to me. But I was wrong. Those bitches were fornicating and now want to fight me because they got on social media talking crazy and calling me a liar. But much like you, Case, I got the receipts and I'm gonna say my piece and leave it where it's at. I wanted to know if I was in the wrong or not, especially since yeast infection was well aware me and Q-Tip were talking, which isn't even my biggest issue. Then proceeded to lie to me over it. Oh, hold on. <laughs> okay, I can tell that she liked to read. Just from that first sentence, she gagged me with the, I know you have a history of befriending weirdos. <laughs> Wait, bitch, not you just call me messy. While I was sitting next to them, we were all watching a movie on A's couch. I knew I smelled something, but I thought it was just the dogs. <laughs> <sighs> oh my God. You don't really explain in here how you got on social media and what you said, but no shame. I think that honestly, maybe, mm, who, Cause you're you not talking to Keith who make the videos, you're talking to drunk, you're talking to Marquis. This is me who, when I be off that shit, I'm not gonna lie, it's disrespectful to me when, first off, okay, let's rewind it. <laughs> Let me get my thoughts together. You invited someone over, and I'm pretty sure A must have been your friend. You invited someone you were talking to in A to a house. They're, they're dead wrong for even one, doing it right next to you. That's hella trifling. But then two, to be my friend and know I'm talking to someone and then to be talking to me and then do that with my friend, Hella weird. Them hoes that got smacked about that motherfucking sex. I would ah, bah, right there. It'd have been just like that. See, you better than me. I that personal that situation I personally wouldn't have brought it to the internet just because that's a not that it's embarrassing because I mean what happened about the internet that wasn't embarrassing. But I would have definitely been more of a like knock them bitches out and then if they got to the internet then I would have came with that receipt just so someone can't say you're messy. But I, I, me personally, I don't blame you because I, I can understand, I can, I can just feel how disrespectful you feel because when someone plays in your face like that and especially two people that pretty much owe you loyalty, uh-uh, that bitch would have got knocked about her shit. Okay, so we gonna, since this is the very first email, the very first person, I feel like I kind of owe them to, you know, put in the video. So this one is confession and it says i've been stalking this fine nigga for like five months girl he got a gun he a blood and i want him so effing bad but i'm stalking him off a burner every day i'm just trying to get myself together before i shoot my shot okay well girl make sure that he don't shoot his shot <laughs> girl he sound like he told pose and you don't want a head full of hollow bullets i think that you honestly i have a friend who's messing with this boy back home in seattle she messed with him and he's like a serial killer like he be killing people and he's like on the run and his family he's so it's so bad that like his family don't even know where he be at because he absolutely cannot 
you know, be found out because he could get in the streets and then he fuck around and have a, you know, he be at a stoplight and then a handful of bullets become his way. I honestly do not condone um, girls who talk to guys with guns or that be affiliated like that just because it's more... Yes, they're cute, but is it worth it? Like, is a fine nigga worth your life? Like, honestly, put that in perspective. I was, and it didn't, I, I don't know if the video is out by the time I drop this video, but if it is, the video that I was supposed to drop before this, which was a vlog slash story time, I actually talked in the video about how this girl basically got shot by her boyfriend, and I'm pretty sure he was like her baby dad or something like that. And it was really, really sad because he's literally loading the gun, like, it was on TikTok, and she was literally, he was literally loading the gun while looking at her. So it's kind of like... I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't. I just don't think it's worth it. I think you should go ahead and lay his ass be and let the, you know, the Crips get him. You know, if he make it over a year, then maybe you could. But then if you do start talking to him, bitch, don't hop in his car. Because just because, girl, they gonna fuck around and see you in the car thinking it's him and light your ass up like you a werewolf. So I don't think you should do it. Okay, so next, let's do, um... Stepsister drama, she. Let's get into it. My stepsister was recently caught sexting and running away, telling boys she'll suck their dick. Ah! CXT. She rode in the back of the cop car because was out late at night doing God knows what she claimed. She went to the movies, but knowing her, she was probably lying. Let me mind you, she's 15. Uh -uh. She's been doing this for more than a year. Last year, she ran away with the boy, and we had to send an Amber Alert out. My mom and her husband. I refused to call him my stepdad, cuz fuck him. Keep taking her phone and giving it back. They aren't disciplining her at all. I want to hear your thoughts on what I should do considering me being the older sister. I'm 18. Because currently right now I'm keeping my distance from her because I don't like being around people like her and she's not even my real sister. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Oh girl. Okay. Me personally, I could, um, maybe not all that, you know, my sister, because we, we got whoopings. <laughs> We got that ass tore up. So we knew not to run away no matter how bad the punishment was. And we knew not to run away no bad, you know, how mad we was at our parents. But what I can relate to is I have a stepsister also. And, or had, I don't know. I need a cheese stick because I'm hungry. And my stepsister used to do a lot of weird shit too. And honestly, just recently back in March is when I finally just cut her off because there's a time where you got to kind of look at somebody and be like, and mind you, it might be different for me because the only reason why I would a lot to cut her off because she wasn't staying with us anymore. And I'm obviously not going to get into that because that's just too much drama. Like, girl, that's a little too much. I'm not going to say all that. But I honestly think that you should just, mm, I don't know. I can't, okay, it's a lot easier said than done because there was once upon a time where I was looking at my stepsister and, you know, I want you, because you, who doesn't want that relationship? Once someone's in your life and it's just like, you know, you try your, you try to be a family, and everyone wants a family, wants to feel loved, but I don't know. I just feel like, your sister, first off, she need her ass whooped, okay? Someone need to go get an Ed Hardy bell about that closet and just start tearing up into that ass. She don't know, she don't need no phone. That's what your parents keep messing up about. If you see that this is a pattern, and you see that, you know, every time you give her her cellular, she hop on Snapchat and then be down the street at the train station, she don't need to be outside no more with no phone. You need to send her ass to school, and then send her ass right back to the crib. It don't need to be no phone. She clearly don't need one, because she don't know how to act when she get it. I feel bad for you, and I, you know, I feel like clearly the way you said, what you said about your stepdad, there's probably some history there also, so I don't, it's probably a really confusing situation. I genuinely think that do not take any of the pressure of being a parent from your parents and let them do that. Because in the, the day, your mom decided to get with this man knowing he had a daughter and your stepdad or, you know, your mom's boyfriend decided to have a daughter and not to do nothing about it. So whatever happens to that girl, hopefully nothing, like she stays safe and whatnot. But if she don't want better for herself, you can't want more better than her. And this is no shade. So I genuinely think you should just go ahead and just pay it and just let her let her do her Dougie. And girl, she gonna come back probably with a few black eyes, some bruises on her veins, then you, she probably gonna learn her lesson then. But until then, girl, you can't put your energy into that. You 18, you about to be starting looking at colleges or if not that in the workforce and stuff. So you need to go ahead and just do that. Do you worry about yourself and just kind of lead by example and hopefully when she gets to that age where she's like, okay, I kind of want to, you know, be doing that and be on to great things like how you will be, then she'll try to change. But if she doesn't, then bye. So basically, my friend likes this guy. We gonna call my friend Donut and the guy Mickey. Donut likes Mickey and she tells me, but Mickey likes Emmy. Mickey told Donut too and now this girl has been shading me how I dress, what I like, all that. Mickey even told her that she dresses any type of way and he needs to dress more like me. Mind you, mm. Mickey doesn't even like her like that and she be trying to act like they are just so cool. 
He'd be looking uncomfortable as hell when she comes over to bother him. I swear to God, don't it got one more time to say something slick before I really ruin her whole year. Do uh -oh. I move in silence and just cut her off or do I put pause on her for really trying to sneak this over a guy? Oh, my bitch said she in there. Damn, my bitch said I just leave her alone or I do I get active right with it though. First off, Donut, that bitch need her ass whooped or she need to go ahead and be cut off. Because when you see behavior like that, if any, okay, I do not care. I said it in my last video, if your friend is talking to somebody, they should automatically be unattractive to you. I have never in my life seen one of my friend's boyfriends or one of my friends or someone that they're talking to in that I'd be like, <laughs> He is just so sexy, like, no, it don't be like that. This is just the beginning, mind you. Now let her, now let y'all have start dating. Let's say you and him was dating. How do you think she would react then? She'd be so bitter, she'd probably start telling your business. First off, if she knows anything about you, go ahead and just, no shit, you might have to whoop her ass because then you gotta make her scared to even tell your business because then she might be like, damn, she might punch me in my throat again. If she don't know nothing about you for real, that's too crazy that you're not okay with like having out on in the public, I honestly think that you need to just go ahead and just cut her off now before it gets done. And I'm telling y'all, listen to me when I talk about these fake friends. I clearly do not catch the red flag to the end when it be too late. You can't even like try to have a conversation with her because you might have a conversation with her and then she end up hitting you with the, oh, I didn't mean for it to come out like this or I didn't da 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 with you, with you. Well, but deep down, girl, that girl liked that boy. Anybody who would talk about their friend and how they dress and their re like, cause I mean, let's really talk about it. When people talk about how you dress, they're really calling you broke because the better you dress is really equated with how much money you have to have like nicer clothes. So I genuinely think you need to go ahead and cut that bitch off. And if she keep talking about you, you might just have to pop her in her throat. Okay, this one's called Jail Boyfriend. Let's get into it. So long story short, my first love that I was with for five years on and off, he went to jail in 2020 and was sentenced nine years. Oh, Obviously, shit. Obviously, I moved on in last year, 2022, I met someone who I really like. Okay. The relationship is healthy and I love him, but my first love is getting out early for good behavior. In December this Wait, year- Wait, hold the f*** on. You don't just sentence a nigga to nine years and because of a year of good behavior, you let him out. What the fuck did he do? Early for good behavior. In December this year, Dottie thinks we are getting back together and even if I tell him no, he's the type to fight my new BF and just harass us until I talk to him. I think I still have love for him, but I also, I love my current boyfriend, IDKY, this current relationship is kind of boring me. He's so nonchalant, he doesn't argue even if I start one, he'll end it quick. Arguing with my first love gave me a thrill and it was entertaining. Another thing, my current boyfriend hasn't cheated. We have each other passwords and everything with my first love. I was fighting girls left and right over him, but I'm hoping he's changed. I could sounds bad. Do you think I should stay with my healthy relationship or go back to my first love? Okay, so I'm gonna ask you a question. <laughs> Do you think you should go back to the abusive, emotionally manipulative nigga in jail? Or do you think you should stay with a nigga who puts that effort in and actually talks to you? I know, okay, dating advice for me is crazy. I know it's crazy. My track record is not the best, but Dottie, l l let's talk about the name. Dottie, he sound like he shoot. He sound like he shoot, he sound like he, ki he, sound like he kill. Niggas who been to jail, first, I don't think y'all understand love in the power of just liking somebody can make people do crazy stuff. He already went to jail for nine months or nine years. So he was doing something to even get up in that bitch sober and without even someone he was in love with. But now he's he's getting out of jail. And me personally, jail's supposed to be a re rehabilitation, re rehabilitation, but it, it's not. There's a lot of people who go into jail and come out even worse people and be like, you know, let me go stab a pregnant bitch in her stomach because they didn't beat my ass for nine months in jail. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Sister, for your safety, I think that you go ahead and just leave that boy alone. He does not seem like a good person. He does not seem like he's gonna be good for you. And honestly, you should want better for yourself. Like, and I promise y'all, I know this is, com this is coming from me. I know. Y'all need to be better than me. I tell y'all these story times about me and the boys that I talk to and the red flags I miss so y'all can be better. And that I can, you, can, you know, I, I try to show y'all that I'm, I'm getting better every single time. You listen to them, it, it's every single time I get just a little bit better. And I couldn't even sit here with a good conscience and tell you like, oh, I get that you're bored and da 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 but honestly, maybe you should just like stay with the other one because he probably got a big old, no, mm -mm, go ahead and leave him. And if you are bored with that boy, with your, your relationship with your now, I honestly think you should just go ahead and break up with him because being a person where you're just kind of using someone just to be there, you're not lonely, is not good. And then it really just leads into nothing because now you're going to break his heart. Like, I know you're going to be fine, but 
Mm, I can't even support that because I done got my heart broken a few times and I hope all of the niggas get hit by an F-150. So I genuinely think that one, you need to go ahead and get a restraining order or, you know, let that boy know, like, listen, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing the drama. I'm not doing the you harassing me and my boyfriend. Cause that's dangerous. Like, girl, you never know what can happen to you or him. And that's just not fair to him or you. As far as the boy that you're dating, I don't even know. Either break up with him or be faithful to him, but there's no in between. Like, honestly, once you start dating somebody, this is what you sign up for, in my opinion. Some messy teeth for a real one. Okay, bitch, I'm gagging. Let me see. We're gonna do one more after this, and this is gonna be our last one, girl. So we're gonna see. Look, let me give a quick read. So I met this dude. Everything was casual until we was OTP watching Big Hero 6, and he pulled some out of his pants way bigger than 6. I was gagged then D from den on. I've been obsessed, but recently I found out this girl who goes to church with him be fucking on him too so then my messy ass submitted both of them to my area's bop account on it and at lunch the other day this girl i was sitting beside at a school play like goes and hugs him and is like omg i miss at you so much just long and annoying so then i'm just looking like wdf saying night he tries to take me to like the roof of the school but that little bitch was like following behind us bitch tell me why they started making out right in front of me two minutes later should I beat this nigga up or leave it BC for one dude DL for two? I knew he was a hoe. Wait, hold on. Wait, what's happening? Wait. PLC. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. My drunk ass ain't even keep up. I need to listen to that just one more time and really catch up. One second, because what? Bigger Den 6. I was gagged then D from Den on. I've been obsessed, but recently I found out this girl who. Goes to church with him, be fucking on him too. So then my messy ass submitted both of them to my area's bop account on it. And at lunch the other day, this girl I was sitting beside at a school play like goes and hugs him and is like, OMG, I miss at you. So much just long and annoying. So then I'm just looking like WDF saying night he tries to take me to like the roof of the school. But that little bitch was like following behind us. Bitch, tell me why they started making out right in front of me two minutes. Later, should I beat this nigga up or leave it BC for one dude DL for two? I knew he was a hoe and for three it's more niggas where that came from but like you got the fucking audacity. Also keys can you PLZ reply to my message on IG at them black print I am trying to paint you some for you our new house. Oh my god, what are you trying to paint some for her hands? Like, I don't know if that even made any sense. But yes, I'll definitely DM you back. I, I, I'd probably DM you back probably tomorrow or something when I'm editing or because you know, I'm not gonna remember now. There's a lot to untuck here. <laughs> Not untuck, I mean unravel here. First off, he DL, he gotta go. Gay niggas don't like DL niggas, so I don't know why y'all would like him. If he, you know, he like to get, you know, some action up in that butt, you know, there's nothing wrong with a nigga who like, he gay or he, uh, he bi or nothing, you know, obviously I don't find nothing wrong with that. But if you are specifically looking for a straight man and you know that you're not comfortable with him being DL and liking boys, it's probably best you leave. Cause one day you gonna walk up in there and you gonna be like, why it smell like dush and booty hole? And you gonna walk in your room and you gonna see another man on top of your queen size bed. We ain't looking for that. He just disrespected the fuck out of you to take you on a sneaky link of some sort on the top of the roof of the school. Now that, okay, that's cool. Some little bit of excitement, you're trespassing and stuff. I can see that. But then to kiss a girl two minutes later and then imagine she was following you. I don't know, that seemed like a little bit of a setup to me. That's not, that not seem like a setup to y'all. I just personally think that, girl, what, why was she following y'all? Why was she comfortable enough to follow y'all? He played in your face and kissed her in front of you, girl. They would have been there kissing on the top of that rope and I would have pushed both them hoes off. And that is going to be the only ones that we talk about today. Girl, I know there's probably some good ones in there, y'all. If y'all want y'all's red, go ahead and email them to me. And if you guys want your red that you already sent them, go ahead and re-email them to me. Like, you know what I mean? Like. Just reset them to me and now let's get it back into them. If you think it's some real tea, but the girls, okay, today y'all wasn't, I wasn't too bad. I was kind of scared because I was like, they come in here with something loser. I'm about to be mad down. But let's go ahead and get on to our next topic. I'm just talking through the liquor, honestly. But I like you though. I feel like when I be talking when I'm drunk, I just get a little bit more real with it. Bad Boys Club. If y'all watch Bad Boys Club, if y'all if y'all don't watch Bad Boys Club, if y'all don't watch Bad Boys Club, it's a show on Zeus. And honestly. I don't have nothing much else to watch other than anime and Real Housewives of Atlanta. And honestly, the only bitch on there that's causing some drama for a bitch is Marlo. So I'm just, you know, trying to find my fix here and there. Bad Boys, I think it's so stupid. I think it's so terrible. Only because for a bunch of grown men, how y'all letting a boy named Jonathan punk you? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, Jonathan is big and bulky as fuck. Like, he bench pressed F-150s and semi-trucks. But there's no way I could be on a, like, a, a screen or being recorded getting punked by anybody. I'm not walking on the shows. First off, I'm a grown-ass man. And I don't know about y'all, 
But I was taught that you supposed to die about your respect. That's why I also feel like I'm so quick to check a bitch in that mouth. I'm so quick to, you know, pop somebody in their lips about how they talk to me and how they treat me. You know, obviously when it's going on, I don't notice it. But when I see that it's so blatant, oh no, you gotta get it. Because what? Like, I don't care about none of this internet shit. At the end of the day, I'm a human first and I'm a creator second. Honestly, I'm a creator last because there's a lot of things in between that. I think the youngest person on that show was like 23 or 24. So it's really no excuse. Even if me to being 21, if I were to go on that show and anybody try to talk to me stupid, anybody tell me I can't do something or anybody tell, if I pick a room and someone were to be like, Oh no, you can't go ahead. This is my room. Oh, okay, well then go ahead and put on your Tims, bitch, because we're gonna have to fight about it. When Anthony left the house, I felt like I understand why he left, but I didn't respect it in the sense of not even that I didn't respect it, I respected it because who wants to be sitting there fighting over, you know, stupid shit like that? Sometimes people just aren't fighters and they don't wanna fight. I, okay, so I'm not gonna say I don't respect it. But me, it just it just it just wouldn't happen. One, you're not gonna jump me. Two, if you do jump me, I'm going every time you bitch fall asleep, security better be outside that door because I will be in every single whole room like a grim reaper. I smash a bookcase on you hoes, hey, a vase, a shoe, bitch, a dish. So when Anthony left, I was kinda sad for him because he was one of the OGs. I felt like he should have, you know, represented his spot just a little bit more, but whatever. If he didn't want to be on the show, I heard it's really not even worth it for real. I heard the Zeus check be like $5,000, and girl, what are we going to do with $5,000? Anthony, you know you invited your friends there, girl. You told them to come over, and you told them that you needed tobacco because you got jumped, which is understandable. I applaud you because I would have did the exact same thing. What makes y'all think that I'm going to sit here and let you jump me, what, three, four times, and I'm not going to call my friends? They'd have been like, your friends are outside trying to fight. I would have ran out that door. Ran out my door, everybody would have had to line it up. I don't know, I feel like Anthony honestly should have just kept it real, said he invited his friends and went about his day. Jonathan, I feel like I can't be bad at him because if someone gonna let you punk them once, girl, of course you gonna keep punking them again. Me personally, he just seems like a big ass bully and it seems like he runs the show and it's boring. He gives nothing to me. And I feel like it's not worth my $6 a month to watch a grown ass man punk a bunch of other grown ass men. Benga is the only person in the show that I like. I liked um, Orlando, what's the name, Orlando Bloom? I think that's the white man. Whatever his name is that was on That's a Raven. I liked him at first because I was like, girl, he seems like he's gonna be genuine. He's gonna see like he doesn't care to do stuff for the camera. He's gonna be crazy regardless. We know he's crazy as the fuck. But when he snitched on his friend, Raz B, I was like, uh-uh. Mm -mm, that just irritated me. Why are you coming outside trying to question me or be like, are you okay? I can't, I'm so concerned because you got beat up. Yeah, bitch, because you don't know how to stop running your mouth. He kept talking about some pyro this, pyro that. I, fuck pyro! I don't understand why these people be so scared. Like, there's security right there. And yes, they might make you get up there and run another round. But girl, you want to get up there and run another round. Like, are y'all scared? Mo seemed like a follower. He's cute, but I think if he was ugly, y'all would really see that he's a follower. Like, he seems like he's scared. And he Maybe he just stays to himself. And I guess you could go ahead and take that route too. But me personally, I think he's a follower because... When Bang was trying to fight Lou for smacking the shit out of him because Lou actually had a problem with Chef D. And even then, I felt like, okay, Bang, you was low-key doing a lot. Like, if someone's getting jumped and you don't know them, you let them get jumped. That's not your fight to jump into. But he felt strongly about something, and I respected that he was the only one who had something to say to everybody. He stood 10 tones on all his opinions, and I can respect that. When Bang was trying to fight Chef D and argue with him, and then Lou smacked the shit out of him, I was like, uh-uh, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Go ahead and run that back, cause you could not have hit me that hard and had me stumbling and shaking like I was going through a seizure and shit. And thought that I wasn't gonna hit you back and I wasn't gonna fight you again. No, 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 no. I don't care. And mind you, everyone's like, "Oh my God, you're doing them all like Prince." Oh my God, Prince, you gay and your lips look like you've been washing with sandpaper. So I need you to go ahead and leave, cause you didn't even give on love and hip hop. I don't know what Zeus was thinking, but clearly, bitch, you see their last cast. They'll cast anybody. Why was Brie on there? I think that Mo had so much to say. Prince, Mo, Liddy, everyone has had so much to say when Bega wanted to fight Lou. But as soon as Jonathan wanted to fight all them people at the most recent episode, and as soon as... You know, basically everyone wanted to fight again. Because in the recent episode, there was a few people that wanted to fight and get it up. Nobody said anything. And what I think is people mistreat Banga because it's clear that he doesn't have as much money as everyone. I'm not saying he's broke or anything because clearly how the fuck would I know? But it's very clear that because he doesn't flaunt his designer or, you know, wear this, wear that, and it's not to their standards that they believe that they can talk to him in any way they want. And they do that very often. It actually kind of breaks my heart because... It just be like, girl, when did money ever equate to the, you know, quality of the person? If anything, a lot of times when people have more money, they get real, real, real weird and real fake. So.
I don't know. I know I'm drunk because that shit tastes like water. Um, Chef D, bitch, you look like a walking piranha with some waves and a do-rag. I don't know why Chef D be feeling it so much, girl. We know you because you cook hamburger helper for Santana. I feel like Chef D breath stink. Like, for something about Chef D make me feel like his breath stink. Is it just me? Chef D don't look like his breath stink to y'all. I don't know. Every time he talk, it's just like, hi, 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 hi. Girl, please, please swallow a breath mint, bitch, because it's pissing me off. I think Chef B does a lot for the cameras, and he's even admitted on the internet, and people who do too much for explicitly for the internet is so crazy. Like, I, And this is coming from an influencer who literally does stuff for the internet, but it's different with him. Like, I feel like I get on the internet, and I just give y'all the real meat, and people don't like it, they don't like it, but if they do, they do, and they fuck with it, and clearly y'all like it, but... I'm not gonna be seeing her doing the most and everything because I'm looking for the views. Like, I feel that's corny and that can lead to a very nasty path of being a bad person. And, um, like I said, Mo's a follower. Prince don't need to be on there. He having anxiety attacks. Like, what did y'all sign up for? You knew what show you signed up for. What did you expect? I hope, oh God, I am praying that Prince get beat up this season. Like, girl, I can't even keep my eyes open. I'm so damn drunk. Explanation of everybody. I think everyone else is a follower. The only person that I genuinely like is Benga and Lou. I did not like him at first, but he started to grow on me a little bit because when he doesn't do too much and he doesn't go off on the camera trying to, you know, be this person that he's not, he's actually a cool person. So we're going to see how I feel about Lou later. Baddies West reunion. Girl, what, where do I even start? Tommy, best outfit, best hair. I don't even like Tommy. I think she's annoying. I think she's very loud and that bitch a crackhead. Every time she film a scene, it feels like she just hit a bump or two and it's annoying. Like, girl, you too damn grown. Every time I see Tommy, it's only because she's fighting. Like, damn. Tommy, do you do anything the fuck else? That music not doing enough for you, sister? Stunner girl, love Stunner girl. I'm a West Coast bitch at heart. If y'all don't know, I'm from Seattle, the big 206 and Stunner girl, I've been bumping her since my friend, my one of my best friends, Bintu, put me on to her in 2018. On the record! What's that, Bintu? Shout out to Bintu! I don't I don't think she's wrong for any of her fights. Biggie was doing a lot, she was dick riding, and I feel like you don't know this girl, so for you to be in her talking about some, there's a time and a place, da 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 da, that's not classy. Girl, I don't know you, I spit in your face. So, Biggie was doing a lot. When Roly in that same scene was trying to be like, who are you gonna do this to the girl? Don't be saying that, because Roly, you knew what she meant. So, I don't think she's wrong for that. Everyone keeps trying to justify what Tommy was trying to do. Regardless of Tommy threw a swig of alcohol, this bitch, the, the disrespect was there. And you, she was trying to disrespect this girl. And that's what I feel like people don't understand. Like, girl, Stunner Girl didn't just beat this girl up for no reason. Because she is quiet and she's to herself and she's lit. She perform, perform her music and she do what she got to do. Until somebody get in her face about it. And I and that's why I like her. Biggie, I liked her at the auditions. I was really excited for her to be on the show. As soon as her big raisin build ass got on the show, I was like, uh-uh, go ahead and send her back. We don't need her. I want the bitch who sound like Rashawn. Y'all remember the girl from the audition who sound like Rashawn? I actually liked her. I actually wanted her on the show. She would have been a way better pick than Biggie. Kat, she gave nothing, honestly. I don't got nothing against Kat. Until the, after the show, she got real weird and tried to say she wasn't following Stunner. I don't care. You could not sit here and say that Kat was not following Stunner. I'm not putting, I'm a bitch, I see a bitch be asking, she my friend, I'm like, oh girl, you need some, you want some lotion, girl? Put your hand out. And I'm gonna give the bitch the lotion. You will never be like, Oh shit. You would never, ever, 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 ever see me putting lotion on anybody else that says to my man. And even then, I wouldn't even do that. I'm lying. Yes, I would. I'm like, I, 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 nigga, I could play tic tac toe on your forearm. Can you go put some Jergens on? Ellie's annoying. She built like an Air One Jordan. Scotty is so weird to me. I don't care what no one says. Oh shit. I'm, see, I'm, I'm trying to sink on the shit. For her to be at the reunion talking about, oh, she's so scared. Uh, Razor's so scared of me. That's why she didn't come. Girl, bitch, you're delusional. You're feeling it. Because if Scotty was there, or if Razor was there, Scotty would have not done anything scotty literally sat there and was trying to fight tommy but then as soon as she had an opportunity to run up on tommy or uh, tommy she didn't do it she didn't do it so i think that honestly a lot of people hype scotty up because she light skin but she's not even that cute and she's not even like she built cool like she got a cute body and shit but i mean there's a lot of bitches who got a body like that so i me personally i just don't think that scotty is everything in the bag of chips if anything, I think Scotty's a biggie bag meal missing a fry. Um, Roly, love Roly down. I've always loved Roly since one more chance. I'm so sad that her and Stunner beef. When Roly put up to reunion wearing that Puma jumpsuit, I was like, girl, what are you doing? And then why are your wigs always coming off, bitch? That bitch need to put some wood glue on her forehead and walk into the reunions because I don't know what she's using, but it needs to stop. As far as the reunion, um, pissed me off. I was talking so much crap. I was like, oh my God, Krishan's not gonna be here. We're gonna finally be able to get some questions through because the last season of Krishan irritated me. She's kept talking talking over people and it was just so irritating but Krishan wasn't here y'all was still arguing no questions got answered Janisha you supposed to be one of the hosts and bitch your, your husband is the CEO of Zeus you should have been like hey 
We not doing that. I would've got all them hoes together. I think that Zeus needs to start making a contract and the contract it needs to say, um, if the hoes is saying that y'all need to sit down and calm down and answer these questions, if you don't do it, if you get asked more than what, twice or whatever, and you don't do it, you need to get fined. Oh, it needs to be over a thousand dollars. Everybody got so much money? Okay, well, let's go ahead and make it 2,500 every time y'all don't obey one of these rules. Um, if you have to get kicked out the reunion because you're not listening, you're not doing 2,500. If you don't show up to the reunion, 2,500. If you are talking about the show before the show airs and damn near leaked the whole season, 25, that needs to be 5,500 because now Zeus loses the money. Zeus has the worst contracts, the worst production. Natalie, please stay off the show because you're scary and you know you don't be really wanting it with nobody, but you be trying to sit there and like, I feel like Natalie wants her Jocelyn's cabaret moment and she wants the girls to be afraid of her, like, but no, girl. Jocelyn plays and crash bandicoot pack. So of course she's going to be strong and her muscle density going to be stronger than The Rock. I feel like Natalie be trying to search for her moment so much and it's be a lie. And honestly, I don't remember remember everyone, Lo, she's cool. I like her on Bad Girls Club more than I like her this season because I live for the mess. But I feel like Lo made a, she was funny. I feel like Lo kind of did enough and she didn't do too much. And I think that fight with her and Krishan, I wouldn't call her weak because she wasn't scared of Krishan. She kept trying to get her round back. She kept trying to get her leg back, but she couldn't cut security. And yeah, she got, you know, beat up. But I mean, she also got jumped on, so whatever. Krishan, I actually like her and I love her even more now that she's pregnant and she you knows she can't drink. So she's kind of having like a more clear in, like insight on life. So I like that. I like that about Krishan. And honestly, that's it about my uh, Zeus preferences. I might low-key like cancel my subscription. Look at the summaries from throughout the season. But I see they're about to add a new boy for Bad Boys Club. So we're going to see how he gives. And we're going to see. I see that he fought Mo City, Follower Ass, and uh, Chef D. And you know, I hope he didn't get bit, cause Chef D bite you, bitch, you gonna look like a Baconator. So, you know, a whole chunk of meat missing, fucking with his big ass. Now, let's go ahead with our last topic of this video. Hey guys, so I'm actually not gonna tell the family drama story time only because there's some new developments in the story. And honestly, this is something that I need to be sober for, cause, oh girl, <laughs> I was talking that shit. <laughs> girl, there is some new developments in the story and it's just, let me show y'all. <laughs> I, I can show y'all better than I can tell y'all. Yeah, girl. The people I was talking about, the cousin and the auntie that were doing the weird shit in the story time that I was telling you about and were, you know, basically trying to villainize my parents and kept trying to talk about my parents. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, they got it. Yeah, they got it. Bad, too. You know I be reading. I just feel like because I was so drunk and I didn't, I couldn't say specific names or specific Things that were happening, I literally had to, it was just, get, girl, like, you know me, I'm already stuttering now and I'm sober, so imagine me drunk. It, it was just a mess. Our next video that I'm posting this Wednesday is going to be, like, a vlog slash mukbang video. And, girl, we're about to get, but it's going to be a story time. It's going to be a story time. And we're going to be getting into some things, because, girl, it's, I just, broke people should never laugh. Honestly, what happened? If you guys like, if you guys like this video, let me know what you feel about it, and let me know what you liked about it. How you feel about the advice I gave and what the people are saying? Also, tell me how you feel about baddies and bad boys, because I'm I'm curious to see if anybody agrees with me. Um, I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. Love y'all a hundred times. Kisses on both cheeks. Bye.